Shalom, shalom. Welcome to another episode of You Are Not Wife Material. Man, in these episodes, these are simply case studies of how many women there are out there that are desperately desiring a good man, but a man won't come within 10 feet of them with the opportunity of marriage. You know, the Bible talks about those that uh, choose to live a lie, the Most High will send them a strong delusion because they love not the truth. And this is truly something that the older women need to understand and hear. It is your job, it is your assignment as an older woman to impart knowledge and wisdom and educate for righteousness sake the younger women. But this is the painful truth about the women out here that uh, have all these high expectations, uh, you know, for a man and they themselves are of no value. Now, if you are a man and you're watching this, you know, let me know down in the comments without being disrespectful. You know, how many of you are looking for a, uh, a woman or a wife like this? Let me know with a simple, I'm not, I wouldn't marry her or uh, I would marry her. And this is serving as a case study, you know, and this years from now will serve as a case study. And women can see in the comments that if they got that same mindset, they'll understand the importance of repentance. Repentance, turning from, you know, your former ways of ignorance, turning from your former, you know, life that did not bear fruit. And even still, man, a lot of these women are hoping and praying, but simply, they're too far gone. Roll that footage. Hello, are you ready? <laughs> yes, ma'am. How you doing? Good. What's your name, love? Adonis. Adonis, and where are you calling us from? I'm calling you from Greenville, North Carolina. Greenville, North Carolina. How old are you? I'm 25 years old. And this time I am a little nervous. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> 25. And um, what do you do for a living, Adonis? Surprisingly, I'm a maintenance supervisor. Maintenance supervisor. Do you have any kids? No kids, no. No kids. <clears throat> and yes, I'm trans. I just started my transition. I did my second injection of hormones today, so I'm new to this whole trans thing. <laughs> okay. So you're a trans woman? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, trans woman. And so we got Adonis, Greenville, North Carolina, maintenance supervisor, 25, no kids, and trans woman. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for a mature man who is pretty clean around the edges, still enjoys to have fun and, and stuff like that, but um, nobody that smokes or, you know, sags or wears grills and stuff. Um, somebody I can take home to my father or my mother, you know, somebody respectable. Yes, ma'am. Someone respectable. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are your deal breakers? Um, smoking, especially tobacco. I mean, if you smoke weed, that's fine. Um, nobody who is rude or closed minded, somebody who's healed, um, from their past. Um, Nobody who does not have a good relationship with their mother or their family, most importantly. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, do you want a straight man? What type of man are you looking for in that category? <laughs> I love to say I love all men. Um, I have experienced men who consider themselves to be straight, but I'm just attracted to masculinity at the end of the day. You don't have to be gay or straight or any label, just masculine. Okay. Should he look a certain way? Tall. You ain't got to be fine and gorgeous, but as long as I'm attracted to you, but I'm 6'1", so I would rather you be 6'2 and up. Okay. And should he make a certain amount of money? Um, just as long as you can take care of yourself and be able to go on outings with me, not only on the weekends, but it can be a Tuesday if you want to go out. Um, 
And just, yeah, like I said, be able to take care of yourself. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam. All right. Let's see. Don't put your ear. Gotta be able to go out on a Tuesday, you say? Yes. Not no weekend type of person. <laughs> I'm on his body. Okay. You look like you're in shape. Thank you. Yes, I try to work out every day, almost, if I can. Okay. Now, question. Should the guy be in Greenville, North Carolina? I would prefer them to be in the tri-state area. Um, I'm able to travel. I don't mind traveling or arranging to meet up somewhere, but not anywhere like across the country or nothing. That's just too far. Long distance isn't my thing, but I, I would rather you be in the area. Rather be in the area. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, when was your last relationship? Whew. I would say probably about four years ago. Mm -hmm. Four years ago. Four years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? On my birthday, uh, April 14th. Okay, on well, your birthday. Mm -hmm. Three flaws. Well, April 14th, that's like about a month ago. Is that person an option? I wanted him to be, and we was, was kind of feeling each other, but no, there's too much baggage. Too much baggage, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and three flaws you have to work on. Um, I feel like I, I offer too much in the beginning, or. I fall too quickly. Um, I'm a. I like to spin, but I. I'm a. I'm a single person, so I feel like I'm. I should be able to do that, and I can't be indecisive sometimes. Mm -hmm. You can't be indecisive. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I've always been told I'm pretty mature for my age. Um, I'm a very domestic type of person. I like to cook, clean, cater to my man or whatever. And I'm just solid, I feel like. I'm pretty down to earth. I don't require too much. I don't ask for too much. Just be able to carry your weight and I'll carry mine and we can meet in the middle. Okay, you can meet in the middle. All right, mm -hmm. let's do it. We got Adonis, Greenville, North Carolina. Trans woman, just started the the process. A maintenance supervisor, 25. But what's the age range you would date? Like I said, I am pretty mature for my age, so I don't really care for people my age. They just don't have the mindset that I have. So I would say 29 to 45. 29 to 45. And you say he doesn't have to be in North Carolina? I would rather him be in North Carolina, but... If you're consistent enough and you're far, like out of state, then I could really fuck with you, but not nobody who's not consistent and, and you in a whole nother state ain't gonna work. Okay, well, let's do it. How can I reach out to you? I'm Adonis on, no, I'm Adonis, D-O-N-N-I-S, Cobb on Facebook. And I'm on um, the app Trans Adonis. I love to lead by my identity and not, confuse nobody. My mama and my daddy made sure I don't be around here confusing anybody, even though I don't think I'm the most convincing right now. <laughs> but I you love sure did. You put Trias as name on the Kendra G Singles 80 app. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> you want people to know that first. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So Adonis is on the app and he he's keeping it 1,000 with you. He wants you to know he is a trans woman. Yes. Um, you posing, Adonis, trans woman, maintenance supervisor, luxury homes, North Carolina, single, no kids, trans woman is being very clear. She's being very clear. I appreciate that. My mm -hmm. favorite color is blue. I love Mexican food and tequila. I like to go out on real dates someday with a grown man. I'm looking for 30 plus, mature, funny, goofy, deal breaker, smoking, and being rude. So once again, this is her picture on the Kendra G Singles dating app. You can search trans and she will come up. And then also, I'll let you do your social media. Your social media is what? Um, On Facebook, I'm Donis. Not Adonis, but D-O-N-N-I-S, Cobb, 
C O B B on Facebook. Am I only one right? Only well, one. Wait, so Jack, do your Instagram. Go ahead, it's fine. Okay, it's I think it's Miss Hershey underscore underscore. It's kind of cringy, but Miss Miss Her Mrs. Hershey on Instagram. Okay, Mrs. Hershey on Instagram. All yes, right, well, let's do it. And then also trends on the Kendra G singles dating app. All right, yes. baby, you keep me posted how it goes, boo. Oh, well, thank you. Love you. Love you more. <laughs> bye, babe. Bye. bye, baby.